This is a quadratic equation, and a good first step in order to try to solve it is to factor it as a product of binomials. So we would hope that we could get it as some binomial x plus something, x plus something else, all equal to zero. In order to factor, I want to look at the constant term, and I want to find factors of the constant term which add up to the x term. 3 can be factored only as 3 and 1, and 3 plus 1 does add up to uh, 4. So I can factor in the following way. x plus 3 times x plus 1. Now, the x plus 1 could come first um, because of the commutative property, but either way, that works just fine. Now I'm going to apply what's called the zero product property. This property tells me that if the whole thing is zero, if, this, if x plus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to zero, then either x plus 3 will equal zero or x plus 1 equals zero. x plus 3 is equal to zero when x itself is equal to negative 3 because negative 3 plus 3 equals zero. Or x is equal to uh, negative 1 would make the second thing equal to zero. So our two possible options are x is equal to negative three or negative one. I'm proposing these are the two solutions to my quadratic equation. Whenever you solve an equation, quadratic or otherwise, it's a good idea to check. Um, I'm gonna just check for negative three. I could do the same for negative one. But negative three squared is nine. Remember, negative times a negative is a positive. So if we square a negative number, we get a positive result. Nine plus, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and 9 plus negative 12 is negative 3. So at the end, when I add 3, yes, I do get 0. So I've confirmed that that is a solution. And if I were to do the same with negative 1, I'll see that that's a solution as well. You might want to go ahead and try that. Hope that helped. Thank you very much.